All right, last week on Generation Gap, we compared performance coupes. And you know the Dodge kicked that thing's butt. Listen, just because it's popular doesn't mean it was the right choice. But I've yes, got the was. right choice right behind me. No chance you're going to win. We'll see. This is David. He spends his days hunting down hard-to-find classic car parts for Haggerty clients. And his nights wrenching on his two Chevelles, David firmly believes that nothing worth owning was built after 1974. This is Matt. He drives his custom-tuned 2011 Mitsubishi Evo. His passion is connecting with car enthusiasts around the world as Haggerty's social media analyst. And Matt is convinced that cars don't have to be old to be great. In each episode, we pick a category, they choose their favorites, and you decide who comes out on top. This week we're discussing pickup trucks. All right, this week on Generation Gap, we're comparing performance trucks. Performance? Performance. Performance. 1933 Ford Flatty V8, the original hot rod. Okay. The start of the hot rod trucks, a 1979 Dodge Little Red Express, straight from the factory with a big V8. It's got stacks. It's like five generations late. It's so Let's cool. go look at the specs. The 1933 Ford Model 46 pickup. The Ford flathead engine was the first mass-produced V8. It had 6.3 to 1 compression with a one-barrel carburetor, 75 horsepower, and a curb weight of approximately 2,500 pounds. The 1979 Dodge Little Red Express. By releasing a previously approved police interceptor engine, Chrysler was able to bypass emission laws. With a mean, law-defying 360 cubic inch V8, four barrel carburetor, 225 horsepower, and 295 foot-pounds of torque, though it had a curb weight of 6,050 pounds. Only 7,306 were made in 1978 and 1979. I know you like your cars old, but this feels a little extreme. This is extreme. This is extremely cool. This is may be older than my grandfather. Absolutely. We'll say an early sports truck, but with a V8. Heavy, classic styling, big fat fenders. You can ask me about my truck at all. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't even want to know. This truck is a Little Red Express. This was the hot rod truck. I'm glad to see they put it on the door. I thought you'd like that. That's a vintage door lettering style. That's true. That's it's true. got the stacks straight from the factory. Uh -huh. It's got the 360 V8 out of a police car, and it was the fastest vehicle to come out of America in 1979. Come on, 1970, well, okay, 1979, I got gotcha. you. Right. right. All the emission stuff, this thing is fast, I can't, I highly doubt that. They found a loophole, no emission stuff. Hmm. No and loopholes in 33. There's, there's no laws in 33. <laughs> That's right. This could have been pulled by a horse and it would have been fine on the street. Absolutely. It was faster than the Corvette, it was faster than a Camaro. It was faster than a Ferrari 308. <laughs> Come on, this thing's like a barn door going down the road. <laughs> it's not quite aerodynamic and it's still got the handling of a truck, but when you put your foot in it, that speedometer just climbs. This truck does have some personal history of hauling apples to the local farmer's market. This thing has a local history of hauling ass. All right, so you may have me on being loud and seen, which is part about being a classic. It is a classic. But this is still cooler. It's vintage. You're close. Close, but still far away. I, you have yet to learn. I'm catching up. <laughs> this is going to pass you. This is, this is cool. Look at how cool this view is. It is. It's neat. Uh, there is something cool about a flat glass windshield. Yes. Okay, whenever you're ready to drive there, kid. Try first gear. I'm trying. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, now first gear. Thank you. There it is. Don't, don't worry about being in the middle of the road. <laughs> good car owner should do is just take the little things that they like and make the vehicle their own. What's that down there? That's your footrest. It 
actually works as a cruise control, believe it or not. You lay your toe, your oh. pinky toe on it, and then you just rotate your foot over. It Boy, what will they think of it next? It works very good. <laughs> Are you struggling, Matt? <laughs> where, the where is first gear? <laughs> Remember you complaining about drive-by wire and computers and all it's of that true, stuff? It's true, I was complaining. This doesn't that. have a damn one of those. Oh. <laughs> Come yeah. on! Dual stacks in a pickup truck? Yeah. It's cool, man. Okay, envision this truck with everything but the stacks. Yeah, it'd be boring then. Yeah. Yeah, alright. You put yourself back in that section of time. I mean, you, you just got used to cars at all. Well, this was you know, way better than a horse. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, this is respectable for the 70s. This truck was not about being subtle. You'd think you never drove on a manual. I only drive, that's all I own. There's first. It's the simplest, most difficult thing I've driven. If you have passion about anything, don't you buy it because it has character, it has something appealing? It's not just a white box going down the road? And I'd actually f refer to the shift pattern as a knee feeler. Why is that? Well, because you get to feel your your date's knee. Yeah, that's right. I wish you'd keep your hand off mine, though. <laughs> this yes. truck reminds me of the kind of trucks that my dad had growing up. Cushy seat. Right. Same kind of, you know, just flat cab, bare necessities. Started up and ran like a champ. Dead simple to work on. As much as I've made fun of drums, these drums are fairly comfortable. That's right. Did you see me grab that first gear just like that? I did. Like a pro. I'm going to grind the hell out of second after <laughs> I said that. <laughs> now I'm starting to get it. I'm feeling a little more good. Yeah. Do you see why life is better in a classic? Yeah. The classic I brought. It was oh. fantastic to drive. And you certainly have cars that put a big frown on your face. You're embarrassed to be sitting in. I said I'm sorry about the Miata. So I drove the Ford, if and you could how call you, it driving. But how did you like driving one of the first passenger trucks? It was very evident that it was an early, early truck. Oh yeah. I gotta ask, why this and not an F-Series, like an F1? Because this was the beginning. Okay. Why would you start at the end? Why not start at the beginning? If I had OCD, I'd love double clutching. <laughs> but you do. <laughs> I don't have OCD. <laughs> yes, you do. Look at this truck. If you like this truck, there isn't an accessory. Hold it. There's one accessory I think you forgot when you're driving this truck. Because obviously you covered it with that shirt. I did. I have one more accessory for you. I need a piece of grass. You need a piece of grass to drive that you truck. You could say the same about your truck, my friend. Well, that may be, but it has to be wheat. Where's this grass bend? I'm not telling. <laughs> If it comes standard, it's not an accessory, is it? I guess I guess you're right there. But I will say this. You've obviously have listened. I have. Because you've you've picked it up a notch. You brought a truck that has the has running boards, tailgate chains, basically a step side of V eight that's real American power opposed to other power. So what you're saying is I finally brought a truck no, 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 that's no. better than <laughs> no, what you no, brought. No, no, no. What I'm saying is you definitely brought a vehicle that was better than what you have brought. It does not compare to this Ford pickup truck. No, I think this is better. We should count them off. Okay, let's do it. Looks. This thing is cool. It's how it came from the factory. It's super loud and it's super cool looking. If you're shooting for obnoxious, you just won. Okay, this is old. It is old. It has classic styling. Once again, they look cool and modified. Style. They look cool modified, they look cool stock, they look cool shoot with the wheels off, they look cool. Agree to disagree. Okay, fine. Performance, the Dodge. All right, one for one, I'll give you that. All right. Now you have to admit though, you don't get any simpler than this pickup. The Ford is super easy to own. The Dodge, I'll give it to you. This is a special truck, it's a low production, it's yep. hard to find parts, and people just don't have them. 
Nope. And when they do, they're going to hoard them because they have one and they need them. And the owner of this flat happens. out told us he was already hoarding parts. And that's exact, And I don't blame him. I would as well. So the Ford, easier to own. Yes. So collectability. This is collectible. Limited edition, way out of the box, big Correct. V8 motor. Agreed. And big. this is certainly collectible based on, again, I hate to say this, but back to the age, there's very limited left. Pickup trucks were used and abused. Especially these. nice steel. Exactly. Still existing on these. I'll give you that. Yep. But I think they're both collectible. Hey, with the right person, they're both collectible. Okay, so passionate. Mopar V8. You love Mopar V8s. You gotta get a happy I, feeling driving I do this. love Mopar V8s, but... There's passion here. There is passion there, but I think you'll find that there's still more passion here because it, it has a, a more timeless uh, feel to it. So I get it. Your passion is in the nostalgia of the Ford pickup, the best-selling pickups... Absolutely. From Ford. This is passionate because it's got the big engine. You feel cool driving it. Even it for me, this is a little audacious. That's why it's cool. Okay, maybe. Well, that's cool. See, you're starting to understand why you want to live in a classic. <laughs> I get it. I've had old cars, newer cars, brand new cars, and I definitely think and older cars are cool. And you're feeling the passion. This might be too old. <laughs> nah. But. Not at all. I see that we're... We're all tied up. Yes. It I, just I would so say we're all tied up. that I have a new category specific uh, to trucks. Great. Got to add a new category. That I think you can't argue with. Okay. The truck was born out of necessity. But which of them is going to be a better utility, a better truck? All right. I see where you're headed with this. And you are correct. Your truck will have a larger capacity. Yep. It has a little more power to pull a lot. or to haul whatever's in the bed of the truck. Or a lot more power. One of the two. The Dodge is better. I suppose from a basic utility, given that it's a larger pickup truck, you got me on that one. There you go. All right, Matt. The fact that you had to add a category to go above what I brought a in today. A very relevant category. A relevant category for the category. Well, yeah. So next time, that's not gonna work. It but might anyway, not work. I know when you go to vote, you will vote for the Ford, as with the classics, I always win. I don't think so. I think this is big, bold, and cool enough that it's gonna get the votes. But it's, you have to vote. Click the link below, tell us which one you like better, Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.